and Morning, the most news in the morning, period, with Day 6 Eastern. And just days after hearing Jackson's comment and apology, Barack Obama is now hearing anger from many, many supporters on his very own website. Is this the new politics in action or the start of a grassroots revolt? I'm joined now by Obama supporter and New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson live for us in Santa Fe this morning. Governor, great to see you. You know, when you're looking you. at the Thanks blog that's me. on his very own website, there is a lot of anger over the fact that Senator Obama voted yes to the new FISA bill, specifically allowing uh, immunity for the telecom companies that um, that that uh, that wiretapped people's phone conversations without getting a, a, a court order for that. Uh, is this going to hurt him? No, it's not going to hurt him. But you know, uh, there's going to be controversy right now both candidates with their own bases, uh, because what you have here is Senator Obama making a realistic decision. Uh, the bill that came in on the FISA issue, not perfect, but it did have sufficient judicial oversight. The big controversy is do the telecoms get immunity? You know, I personally think they shouldn't have, but uh, you have to look at the overall bill. Uh, the president doesn't have the powers to eavesdrop on his own citizens. There's judicial oversight. There's Justice Department oversight. So on the whole, you know, many times I've been in Congress, you have to cast these votes, and, and sometimes they don't indicate the perfection that supporters want. Right. This was a big issue, though, for those on the left. There was a lot of anger over this situation, and it's something that Barack Obama previously had said he would filibuster. So what changed? Well, what changed was that the bill got better, more acceptable to Senator Obama. The judicial oversight, the fact that the president can't unilaterally uh, say that he's going to eavesdrop on citizens. There are a lot of safeguards in the bill that weren't there before. Now, again, the telecoms, I personally think they shouldn't have immunity. But, you know, um, Senator Obama had to make that decision. We do have to protect ourselves against terrorists. Mm -hmm. but. Uh, I understand there's some in the base that are concerned, and you, you, you know, I shared didn't. their view. Right. But you yourself were against this. In, back in October, when you were asked about it, you called the FISA bill an unprecedented assault on American laws and values, cloaked falsely and irresponsibly in the guise of national security. You also said this bill must not pass. Uh, so you believe that there was enough that changed in it, in it for now for Barack yeah, Obama I, to, I, I, to I, give it the okay? Yeah, I believe there was enough. Uh, uh, what still bothers me is the telecom uh, ability to, to not, be, not be held responsible. That bothers me. But again, uh, I think a majority of Democrats supported it. Uh, uh, there are enough safeguards in the bill. And Senator Obama has said he'll review the bill again, uh, see how it's working when he's president. So these are some of the political realities you face uh, when you're running for president, when you're also mm -hmm. in the Senate and you have to make a judgment on a bill. All right. You know, you, you guys are talking energy today as well. Senator Barack Obama will be in Ohio, a crucial swing state. Now, earlier there was a campaign ad that was attacking McCain about his energy plan. Let's listen. On gas prices, John McCain's part of the problem. McCain and Bush support a drilling plan that won't produce a drop of oil for seven years things you guys were hitting him about was that there weren't short-term solutions. When we look at Barack Obama's website, many of his solutions also, uh, some of these would not take place until at the earliest 2025, 2050. Does he have short-term solutions and what are they? Well, look, Senator Obama has said we, le we need long-term solutions. You can't have uh, an instant gratification. What he has said is immediate help for the middle class, a middle class tax cut of a thousand bucks for every family, uh, tax rebates uh, on energy prices. But he says we have to face a problem long range. We can't drill ourselves out of the problem. There has to be more drilling, but it has to be done responsibly. There has to be more conservation. There has to be more fuel efficiency in vehicles. You know, John McCain has not supported fuel efficiency When you say there has vehicles. to be more drilling, though, what are you, you, the, the, ad, the ad says it wouldn't produce a drop of oil for seven years, criticizing McCain for not having a short-term solution. But you're saying that some drilling should happen? Well, yes, absolutely. There is uh, ability, the oil companies, to have responsible drilling. There's new technology. Do it in the continental United States. Have America's oil companies drill more in America, more refineries, more investments in renewable energy, instead of investing overseas and drilling overseas. But do it in the continental United States, not in pristine areas like Anwar and Alaska where there are ecosystems, not offshore 
uh, in, uh, in California and, and Florida. Do it in the Gulf of Mexico. Do it in the continental United States. The oil companies have a lot of acres where they're not drilling. Why is that? They should do that. But do it responsibly. But our addiction is to fossil fuels. So let's move to fuel efficiency, to solar, wind, and biomass, and biofuels, and biodiesel, and plug-in hybrid vehicles, and mass transit. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do. And Obama is saying we need a long-range comprehensive strategy. And I totally agree with him as a former energy secretary. Governor Bill Richardson, always great to talk to you. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you.